Hi everyone, today we are creating a crown splash effect. So let's start it. First we need a circle. Orientation on ZX plane. Set the uniform scale to 0.5. Now configuration will be open arc. Division will be 80. Next use attribute triangular to set the normals. Use the function sample direction cone. For this we'll use the direct position. Creating a custom channel for the angles and seats value. After hitting compiler we can control the direction of the normals. To see normal direction enable the visualizer. The parameter help us to set the direction. Set the value to 1 on both sides. Now add a attribute randomized node and set the attribute to p scale and choose the minimum value like 0.3 next connect the copy to point node to the second input then take a line node and set the direction to this z axis and connect this to the copy to point node after that add a resample node and set the line 0.02 to create a more points Now use polyframe node, disable the normal name and set the tangent name to n. Then add another attribute wrangler and create a direct velocity equal to minus at the normals to invert the normals. Then take VDB from particles. Set the radius scale and separation approximately to ensure that the shape of your velocity mesh is accurate. As I have defined the voxel size to be 0.05. Now scroll down and click on points attributes. Set the attribute to V and VDB name will be well. Now connect the null node and rename as well. Now we need a fluid bed. An easy way to create it is by using ocean source. And initialize as fluid tank and also enable the narrow band. We don't need animated jitter sets. So delete the channel. Now connect the delete. Instead of delete we can use splits also. Take group as surface and connect the null to the first output. Rename as surface. Then duplicate the null and rename as particles. For simulation we need dop network. Inside the dope network, add a flip object, flip solver, gravity and a volume source. In the flip object, set the input type narrow band. In the soap operator, specify the location of the particles. To do this, exit the current view and copy the particle null object. Then paste in a flip object soap operator. In the surface volume, give the location of the surface. In the guide particles, visualization will be particles and enable the close boundaries. In volume source, initialize the source as flip and set the source volume to well and also same for target fill. Come back to object mode, copy the well, paste in volume source SOP path and set the operation to add. Now go to flip source and adjust the volume motion settings. Set the volume limits box size according to your object. For mine it's set to be 5. You can also adjust the box center but this tab is optional. So I am gonna set the y axis to 2. In the volume source set the activation of the velocity to be effectively only until frame 10. The code will be $f less than 10. Copy the particle separation value from the ocean source. And paste it into the flip object. Set the particle separation to 0.05. For higher resolution, set 0.02. Now connect pop drag in second input. Air resistance will be 0.5. Make sure volume source connected to the third inputs. Now just hit the play button. Just come outside. Dope network object will be flip object. Now we need a particle fluid surface. Copy the particle separation of the ocean source. Paste it into the particle fluid surface. Here 
here we can see our simulation this is pretty much it thanks for watching i hope you see you again